Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Jiao Ching. And tonight you find us back out at our Dinghu campus. And today we've got the bike down here. We've just finished charging the uh, bike up. Actually, it's not fully charged, but it's charged enough. We're actually going to take a ride. We're heading back down to that Ferris wheel. If you watched the video a few weeks back at Young Young Lake, uh, we saw this Ferris wheel and I commented at the time, uh, it was night time and there were no lights on the Ferris wheel. And I was saying, you know, that's really unusual because China normally lights at night time. They do spectacularly well. Well, I got a message from a friend on WeChat about a week ago and apparently the lights are now on. So we're going to go down, take a ride down there, have a look at that, have a look at what's going on down that way. As we're riding through, there's a few buildings on the way. We might stop and check out how they look under lights as well. So yeah, we're not going to film all the riding there. It, uh, yeah, we've done all that before, but yeah, as we stop and see things, we'll stop and uh, pull the camera out and give you a look. So yeah, come for a ride, stick around. Next stop, who knows where, but we'll see how we go. So here we have the Sheraton Hotel, which the lights on there look absolutely amazing. I was just wondering, um, as we head down towards this, uh, down towards this Ferris wheel, whether we're actually going to see any lights on there or not, um, because it is a Wednesday night. So hopefully we're not making this trip in vain. We'll see how we go, but. Yeah, that Sheraton, the lights on there look absolutely spectacular. It looks fantastic. So as we've come over this bridge behind us, as we came over the crest of the bridge, we saw in front of us, uh, turn this camera around, the Ferris wheel we can just see lit up in front of us there. So yes, it is on and operational tonight. Um, Hopefully, I don't know how much it costs, but we're actually going to go for a ride in there as well and have a look uh, at the lights from above. So stick with us, we're almost there. So we're at the amusement park here now, and this is the Ferris wheel behind us, and it looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, we're going to go and have a look, see if we can actually, we might just watch some of these light changes uh, before we... Oh, let's change our setting here. Okay, let's have a look at some of these changes and the lights here, they do look spectacular. So yeah, the first time I came out here, there were no lights on this. I was still getting everything prepared, but uh, wow, that's amazing. They've done a spectacular job. I was wondering about this going, why aren't there any lights? They do light so well here. That looks incredible. Really, really good. It is spinning around, so hopefully we can get a ticket. Oh, we've got the, uh, got the moon sitting up above us. Above us there. The, uh, not quite a full moon, but pretty close. It looks spectacular. Absolutely stunning. So let's go and take a little wander, see if we can find out, wow, that yellow, wow. It's such a good job done on that. We'll go and see if we can find a uh, ticket or something for this and see how much things cost. Okay, let's see what we've got here. This isn't telling us much. Everything is Chinese. As we look up here, it's just stunning. It is absolutely amazing looking thing. Such a great job done. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Just see if we can uh, 
get a translator out here, have a look, see if we can't translate this sign here and uh, see what it's telling us. Uh, okay, so we have... Okay. Ordinary fare, 35 yuan, yuan per person per circle, 12 meters including the following children, 20 yuan per... Okay, so if you're under 1.2 meters tall, cost you 20. Members fare, 30. Hello. Just hold on a minute. Um, just checking out. People who are forbidden one who is pregnant, afraid of heights, drug abuse, have difficulty, headache, head star. Okay, so basically health reasons mainly by the look of it. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll go and see, I think we head up to the top here to buy tickets, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll go and uh, see what we can find out for you. We might uh, actually grab a drink before we go anywhere. So stick with us, we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I can see an attendant sitting up there uh, by the entrance, just up, where are we, in, in here. So it looks like they are doing rides. We're just going to sit back here and watch a few of these light color changes for a minute before we go up. It just looks so spectacular. Wow. I hope the camera picks this up as well as, well as it looks for me. It is just brilliant. They have definitely done an amazing job there. As I've said before, the way they do lights here is just sensational. It, uh, it always blows me away. All right, well, let's head our way up here and see if we can find ourselves a ticket to get in here and uh, go and have a ride. So stick with us, we'll be back once we're on board. Okay, so we are in the Ferris wheel now. Uh, as we get around a little bit, I think we can turn this roof light off uh, because that will make seeing outside a little bit more difficult but we're still right down the bottom, still at ground level. It is rotating rather slowly, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, wait till we get up a little bit before we uh, spin the camera around and give you a look, but yeah, I hope it's a good view from up here. So just looking over to our, uh, to our left here, this is sort of the amusement park. A bit hard to see through all this glass. It's, very tinted glass. We'll actually come back another time. We'll come back and have a look. Come for a ride up here during the um, during the daytime. But the cabs feel like they might be air conditioned, although I can't see any air conditioning ducts here anywhere. But certainly not hot in here, although it's evening, so I wouldn't expect it to be. Over this side we have the lake in front of us. Okay, let's see if we can, there we go. Try and get a bit better view out of this window. It, uh, yeah, so that's the lake that we walked all the way around a few weeks back. Look back down behind us here. So we are working our way up. 
So I guess we uh, watch this bar to our side here to tell us where we are. So at the moment I'm guessing we're about... Uh, I don't know how far I'm guessing. But uh, looking back over this side, definitely getting up above the... Uh, above the park area here. That's looking spectacular and then uh, so our school will be back over this way somewhere although we won't see it that's hidden behind it's hidden behind these apartment buildings up in front of us and we can see the uh, Sheraton Hotel over there let's just try and change this to zoom how well we can see through this glass, I don't know, but the uh, building with the sort of blue, greeny lights going through it there is the Sheraton. There's a lot of reflections coming from this glass, so it is a bit hard to see. It might be that it is a uh, better trip to do in the daytime, get a better view. So this pole beside us here now, is, we've gone past the vertical so we're heading up towards the top. If we look back around behind us. So we are, we are quite a ways up now. I don't know how high this thing goes. I should have tried to find some information. But, uh, God, them lights look good. They look really good. That's just amazing. I think it will be a uh, definitely a better thing to do at night time. Right, try and get ourselves centered a little bit here. It is, uh, yeah, I'm thinking definitely better as a daytime thing rather than a nighttime thing. There's not, I thought there might be more lights and stuff to see around the place, but really it's just the amusement park down below us is all we really have to see. But wow, we are getting a uh, good view of it now from right up above. It does look really cool. Like I say, looking through this glass, how well this is all going to come out through the glass, I don't know. But uh, it is spectacular. Yeah, we will have to come back, do another ride in the daytime. So just uh, looking around from here, let's just have a look around the, uh, around the scene. We are pretty much right at the top now couple of meters off hitting the top so uh, Duan Joe is back through this way we have sort of the main part of Ding Hu is through here through this way is all the new district of Ding Hu our school is out this way in front of us Sheraton Hotel through here uh, the sports stadium coming around to the, to the right further more of the new area and then the whole lake area down here below us which is spectacular let's swap sides here so we are coming right over the top now we see this poles almost straight up and down here and we've gone over the top wow it does look really cool And we're back on the downward swing now. Oh, yeah, so we should. Wow, look at these lights back down here. They have done such a great job. I was going to mention also my bike. Before coming here, I had my bike on charge. So I rode out to our new school today. Put my bike on charge. Uh, keyed it in for four RMB. But it actually only cost me 2.9. So the, most of the charging units, I, th I think I could probably safely say all of the charging units, they, um, they remember you. So 
Anytime I go to the uh, to the school charging, we get uh, it remembers me. So last time I charged up, it didn't use all of the money I paid when it charged. So it actually held that held that extra money over, and it's a discount the next time I plug in. So I've recharged the bike this afternoon to almost fully charged. I'll go back and put it back on charge tonight when I get back, which won't take much. I will have only done maybe 14, 15 kilometers. So it won't need much recharging. And, uh, and then, yeah, so I'll, pro I'll, I'll hit in for four RMB again but it'll probably only charge me one RMB, so it'll, it'll keep me remembered. So down, down here was where they had the fireworks and stuff when we were out here a couple of weeks back. Um, over on our left, that uh, long yellow thing down there, that's a bridge going over the... Uh, sort of entrance to the lake or exit of the lake towards the river okay and we are getting down so it's not a bad trip actually it is quite nice like i say probably and i won't know until i've done it but probably going to be better in the daytime I think um, like I say we will come back sometime in the not too distant future and actually do this again but do it at night time I uh, do it at daytime when we have better view we hopefully will have less uh, less reflections on these windows so we can actually get a better view out it would be nice if they weren't actually glassed in and you could actually you know, have a clear view, but <laughs> safety dictates otherwise. So we're sort of stuck with what we've got. But we are almost back down to the bottom. So down here is where we're headed to. Getting back, back down to the level of the uh, little amusement park here. Not too far to go. So we've got two staff members sat down here, one at the entrance, one at the exit. I'm guessing they've got quite a quiet job tonight. I don't think there'd be many, uh, I don't think there'd be many people out and about doing this on a Wednesday night. <laughs> I think they were a bit surprised when, when they saw me coming asking for a ride. I don't, they didn't look like they were expecting to get any customers at all. So, I'll keep them on their toes. So we are just about back now. It is good. It's a uh, nice little thing. I do like it. It is a really nice little park out here. It's very, very, very comfortable, very relaxed atmosphere everywhere. All right, pick the bag up. We're just about down. He'll be opening the gate for us any minute. We'll hit this light back on so that uh, the next people to get on can see where they're going. Uh, yes, very, very cool. So we see the doors here only open from the outside, so you can't actually unlock them from the inside, which, yeah, safety again. So here he goes, letting us out. Hey, thank you, sir. And there we go. One full ride on the Ferris wheel. And they do have, I don't even know how many cars they have but there's plenty of them up there. And these lights still going around. Just looks fantastic. But like I say, we will come back. We will do a, uh, 
We will do a daytime trip. We have, oh, I get this camera straightened up. Now there is a button on this thing which will automatically recenter the gimbal. So that's another thing I will have to uh, learn. Maybe it's two, pre oh, there we go, it's two presses. So, so yes, that's the Ferris wheel here in uh, Ding Hu. Um, we're gonna take a ride back. We're gonna sort of just run around a little bit, have a little look around at different things we can see and uh, yeah, film some random stuff on our way back. So stick with us. We're gonna jump back on the bike, head back towards school and just see what we can find on the way. Don't go anywhere. So here we see the Ferris wheel from the other side over the back of the lake. Well, not all the way around the back of the lake, but far enough around to get the reflection in the water. And that <laughs> looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. They've just done such a wonderful job with this. It is truly brilliant. Jeez, you could sit and watch these lights and just be mesmerized for ages. Wow, look at that. It's just amazing. They do such a great job with lighting here. I've said before, you can go places here in Jiaqing, you know, shops and, you know, shopping streets and stuff. You walk down there during the day and they're, they're pretty daggy, they're pretty old, they don't look terribly great, but then you go down the same street at night time with the lights on and they just look absolutely phenomenal. And this, this is just a great example of it. That is just amazing. That does look brilliant. Spectacular. Okay, we're gonna go jump back on the bike. We're going to uh, head back towards the school. Wow. <laughs> but I just can't stop watching this bloody thing. What is that shadow? Oh, it's a bat coming down the... Uh... It's a bit hard to pick everything up in this. I don't know how well this will come up on the video. Hopefully it comes up great. That shadow flying through the lights, that looks incredible to have the patience to actually program all this. Just, just whoever's responsible for this, well done. You've done such a great job. It looks really good. What a view. All right, we're gonna jump back on the bike and uh, and yeah, head on our way because we actually have a uh, frisbee group in our school. How are we going for time now? It's half past seven. They're actually playing frisbee at eight o'clock on the school playground. So we're heading back. We're gonna go and, go and hang out with them and play some frisbee because that's something I love doing. But on the way back, we'll see what else we can pick up. So stick with us, there may be more to come. So here we have the Sheraton Hotel from the other side. It does look good. So she's shining in that water below us. We're not quite close enough. I can't see a path to get down onto this lower path easily. Um, and just over the other side here, underneath this, this grass area just back here, uh, is actually a, uh, looks like a table tennis tournament area, which looks pretty cool. Um, we might actually, let's just zoom back out. We might actually, while we're up here and there's no traffic around, we might actually hand hold this camera and just go for a little ride along here and give you a look at what we can see here. 
looks like we've got a bridge here. I wonder if we can get over onto this bridge to cross over here instead of having to go all the way down to the... Wow, what's that? All them lights over there. Where? Okay, that must be the back of the sports stadium. No, it's not. It's in front of the sports stadium. All right, we're going to see if we can uh, get over this bridge here and see what all these lights are over here. It's a uh, interesting looking thing and I'm not sure what it is. Can we get onto this bridge with the bike? This is the question to be asked. Okay, I think, I think that's no motorbikes. I think electric bikes will be okay. We're gonna go and have a look. Oh, it is a bit steep up there. So if we look, we should have a good view of the Sheraton from up here actually, once we get up above this crest. Wow, look at these uh, over on our left here. These sort of plant towers, I don't know what you'd call them, but all lit up, pink flowers in the top, they look really good. But we are heading over towards the Sheraton. So over here, ah, oh, so that's, we've got the sports stadium here, and then in front of that, this building with all the lights on it, that's the gymnasium area. So we'll try and get over to there and get a bit of a closer look. This Sheraton, that's looking really good. Uh, and this is that uh, tower that we had a look at a while back, which is still under construction. Hopefully that is finished construction sometime soon. Wow, it's a bit steep coming down here. We'll... Uh, Keep the brakes on, take it nice and slow while we're sort of one-handed. Uh, okay, we'll go this way. This way looks less severe than the other way. Okay, we're back over to... Oh, so this must be actually the main entrance for the Sheraton by the look of it. We've got a lot of a lot of lights and stuff set out in front here. So we might have to uh, have a look, see if we can't get in there sometime and actually have a look around in that place. But yeah, this uh, front garden area looks really good under lights. I've not been past this side of the building before. It does look really cool. Oh, we're still on zoom. Let's change this setting over. That is a really cool looking building under lights. That looks fantastic. What a great job. And then, yeah, this garden out here looks spectacular. Right. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. Might have to, uh, might have come out and book a night in the Sheraton sometime and uh, come and just spend a night there and see what the place is like. Oh, we got a few drops of rain starting to fall on us. They did say there might be a uh, little bit of a shower. So we're uh, going to put the camera down for the minute just while this shower passes us by and uh, keep it out of the rain. So stick with us, we'll be back. Okay, so we are in at the back of the sports stadium here now, and we're going to take a little ride through here. Uh, we saw the other week when we walked through here, they've got this food and entertainment area down beside the stadium. So I think we will be able to get our bike through here it will be blocked off to cars, but hopefully we can get through on the electric bike. 
and give you a look at what's through in here because it is a nice little area. I did say before, I've actually been in here a couple of times. So here's one of the entrances to the stadium here. I have been in here a couple of times for, uh, for a dinner and stuff through here. We're gonna try and find our way onto this curb somehow so we can get past those gates. Okay, we're riding into the stadium area. We don't wanna do that. Okay, so we've gotta find our way, <laughs> find our way through here into this, into this area. So over on our left here is the sporting grounds. So there's a few guys down there I can sort of see playing basketball and stuff. Um, okay, we're gonna have to take a bump up this curb here. Okay, and we should be right. We'll go and have a look at what we've got down through here. So there's some kids rides in here, which there's nobody here at the moment. Like I say, we just had a spot of rain go through, so it's a little bit wet. Actually, the rain stopped almost before we managed to get our camera put away. So, uh, right, have we got a smooth place off of this curb? Looks like we go up here and we should be good. Okay. So yeah, by the time we actually got the camera put away, the um, rain had stopped. So yeah, it was only a very, very quick, very, very brief little shower. So see these lights set up here looking really good. And then there's lots of little eating places all the way through here. You can come in, find something to eat, grab a seat here, sit down, have a feed with friends. It is a really nice atmosphere. It's very, very quiet here tonight. Like I said, I think I said earlier, it is a, uh, it is a Thursday night here now. So, uh, no, it's not, it's a Wednesday night here now. So it is very, very quiet. This place will be rather busier on the weekends, but all sorts of food available. Lots of seating areas up the back in there. There are a few people knocking around, but there are quite a few shops that aren't even open here. Uh, yeah, they'll be mainly on the weekend is the time to come down here. We might have to come down and actually do a, do a walk through here sometime and have a look at what goes on on the weekend. Might actually arrange with Elva. Okay, so my SD card filled up. So I don't know where we stopped recording, but I was just saying, we'll have to come back here, do a trip in here one weekend, one Saturday night. We'll get hold of Elva or something. And we'll actually come and have a walk through here and have a good look at what goes on around here on a night when we've got a good crowd of people. It's, uh, yeah, it's very, very quiet here tonight. And then in here, in front of us here, we have the gymnasium. And we can see all the lights on the side of the building there. That looks really good. It looked really good from a distance. So we've got to bump up over this curb again. We're going to see, actually, looks like if we go down this way, looks like we might be able to get up a ramp and save having to uh, go bumpity bump. Looks like we have a maybe a go-kart track in here of some form or other. So yeah, all the main roads are uh, blocked off to stop cars from getting in here. So it is a bit of a uh, bit of a maze trying to get the bike in and around here. I do want to try and get away from this building that we're beside at the moment. Just give you a look at this these lights from up here. 
They've got people inside there. There must be something happening in there tonight. So, yeah, these lights up on the uh, top of the building here look absolutely fantastic. And then we do have something happening inside there. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, just trying to see through this curtain here, see if we can see what's going on. Looks like some sort of dancing stuff happening in there, all in costumes. We'll uh, have to keep an eye on events coming up soon. They might be rehearsing for an upcoming event. Ah, oh, they've got the Jiaqing Marathon happening soon. So there's every chance that they are rehearsing for performances to do with the Jiaqing Marathon. So I'll have to keep a close eye on things, see what's going on. So that's happening in a couple of weeks. We'll be certainly getting out and filming that or filming some of that. Now that I know the bike has the range to get out here to Ding Hu, we'll actually try and get right out to the uh, finishing point of that event. Look over on the left here, all these all these parking bays over on the left here, all for charging. Hello. How are you? What are you doing? Just uh, eating. <laughs> eating, Just, fair uh, enough. You live here? Uh, I'm at our school. Well, that was unexpected. Just riding out of the stadium and a couple called my name. And so, <laughs> so I sort of approached them saying, oh, hello, and looking at them going, where do I know you from? How do you know me? Where do you know me from? Turns out they don't know me. They've uh, seen me on YouTube. They're actually a uh, couple from Denmark here for a month on holiday, for, uh, yeah, on holiday in Jiaqing for a month, which uh, is really good. Good to see uh, Good to see some foreigners finding their way to this part of the world. Not a lot of foreigners are, uh, not a lot of foreigners make their way here. So yes, yeah, good to see. I'm uh, I've told them to, you know, comment on a video sometime if they need any advice on places to go around Jiaqing or if they want to uh, catch up and I'll take them around some places. So yeah, hopefully we'll catch up with them again in the future. Um, yeah, really nice sounding couple. So uh, if you're watching this video, thanks for stopping us and saying hello. I'm glad, always happy to meet meet someone who actually, you're the first people I've met who actually watch my videos, the first people I've met in person, other than uh, Mr. Tony. So yeah, that was really cool. Hey. Okay, so we are now heading back to school. Um, we're not going to film anymore because I have to get back. We've got a frisbee, frisbee game happening. So yeah, getting back for that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, run around at night. It's, uh, it's a wonderful place, still nice and quiet. All the roads really quiet. It's a great place to be. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, hit that like button, share with friends, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. And if you have any questions, comments, hit us up down there in the comment section. If you have anything you would like to learn about life here in China, in Guangdong, in Jiaqing in particular, hit us up down there in the comment section. And uh, if you come up with a good idea, we'll head away, make a video for you. So thanks for watching everybody, stay safe, and we will see you all in the next one. Oh, I should just mention tomorrow we're actually looking at possibly going up, climbing up Dinghu Mountain. So that'll be another video coming up. So keep an eye out for that one. Stay safe, everybody. We will see you all in the next one. Cheers.